What's up, people? Back with another reaction, back with some more propaganda, and we're back with another tune from there where quantity is job number one, like bonus material unreleased, like demo material album. Uh, and I mentioned it in the previous uh, reaction I did, uh, which was to homophobes are just mad because they can't get laid, uh, that the tune True, which is a Concrete Blondes cover, is a really good song. I actually think it's one of the better songs on this um, bonus material album. Um, I think it could have been included on an album, although again, like, um, perhaps they were less inclined to do that because they did a couple sort of like cheeky um, songs. Like, again, the um, I Want You to Want Me, that was a cover, and then This Might Be Satire it wasn't really a cover, but it was again a song like designed to sound like a million other songs. So I think maybe because they had done um, some cheeky songs and covers in their first album, maybe they were less inclined to include a cover on their second album. But again, I think this is a great cover, and I love the way it starts for two reasons. Like One, it's the band guys like saying phrases that people might have said about them in, you know, zines, or in, you know, like punk rock forums or so on, or, or at shows. Um, but it's this idea that, you know, everyone has an opinion about the band, everyone, like, you know, has what they think is the, like, oh, you know, I used to like them, but I heard they're gay, like, whatever, which, again, that part of it makes me think about the anecdote I told when I reacted to the last song of this album, and also when I reacted to Let's Talk More Rock, um, that, again, there was a guy I knew who was opposed to racism and so on, but then when it came to, like, being opposed to, like, homophobia, he was more like, well, I don't, yeah, I don't know, man, like, I don't want to make a big, yeah, it's like, makes me uncomfortable, whatever. Um, and so, again, like, there's a line in this opening segment where they're saying things that people might say about them, they're like, oh, I used to like them till I heard they were gay, which, again, like, maybe there were people who listened to that second album who were like, oh, wait, like, I can't play it loud anymore because now it makes me feel uncomfortable. Um, but, again, also there are, like, lines that are just about the way that, you know, maybe the punk rock press like talked about them and so on and then the song is about um the song true so like already we're like you know is what is being said about us true there's sort of that sort of dichotomy um but the song i don't remember all the lyrics but i remember like it's something like sometimes you just want to get in your truck and just drive away just you know what like i'm so sick of all the bullshit and that sort of feeling of that like oh you know we're out here trying to express ideas and sort of you know um, hold values and live by them and so on and there's all these people who say like dumb shit about us whether it's just shit that's sort of hateful about some of our ideas or you know people saying things about us that are fundamentally untrue like saying things that you know like oh that we're just derivative or that you know we're um, copying someone else's style or whatever and it's like you know sometimes you're just so tired of dealing with dumb people's bullshit that you just like to you know just get off and go on to a different part of life and not have to worry about it anymore. So I do remember that layer to it, but the other um, aspects of the lyrics I don't really remember, and again, this song wasn't written by them, so it's more like they're applying someone else's lyrics to their own situation, which I do enjoy. So let's get to it. This is Propagandi True, though it is a Concrete Blonde song originally. They just want everyone to think the same. I used to Rock like stars. it until I heard they were Preach. gay. Preach. Animal Preach. rights Preach. is just Preach. another Preach. religion. Just a bunch of fucking All they do is party and get voted. They used to when they were kids. Hypocrites. You can hear George's Canadian accent a little bit in the party and get loaded uh, line. I love it. Love that feedback guitar. Love it. 
again, I think musically it might be the best tune on the album of, again, unreleased material. Um, I would have loved to have seen that on um, Let's Talk More Rock, but yeah. Um, again, there, there was a layer that I wasn't thinking about in advance, and it's you know the most important layer. It's not just that sometimes you're tired of people saying shit about you that's either not true or misses the point fundamentally or whatever. Um, but they're like, look, I'm not out here like pretending to be a rock star. I'm not out here like trying to be a hypocrite or whatever. I'm trying to be who I am. I'm trying to be true to my values and my principles and the ideas that I hold and I try to live and you know not be dogmatic and whatever. So um, yeah, I think it's a really profound song. Um, so shout out to Concrete Blondes. I don't know much, if anything, about them. Um, now it's interesting. Like Concrete Blondes suggests maybe uh, a female fronted band, which like. When I saw them, one of their tours, they were touring with Fabulous Disaster. I think it was the one um, for uh, Today's Empires. And uh, Fabulous Disaster was like an all-female um, punk band. I don't think they're around anymore. Um, but I know they, have like, in a couple cases, like, toured with um, female punk bands. So, like, in one respect, I'd be inclined to think that. But, you know, the Bare Naked Ladies are not, in fact, Bare Naked Ladies. They are fully dressed men. So, um, you know, you can't always go necessarily off of the name of a group. Um, but yeah, if you do know more about the Concrete Blondes, let me know. Uh, if you enjoy the song, let me know. Uh, and yeah, let me know what you think about the lyrics. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think. Other than that, I will see you next time.